Good day, one and all. Thanks for joining us here at WSKI TV 17 or at our website, WSKITV.com. So you can see this forecast brought to you by 45 North from anywhere at any time to know before you go for all your adventures here in the main high peaks. And for Sunday, a little bit of a system coming through, starting with snow, changing to freezing rain, then to rain. Not a whole lot of precip, which is good considering what the temperature is doing. Bit of a breeze on the top, especially 30 to 30 at the summit tomorrow 31 to 35 at the base hopefully we'll come out of this with a more white instead of wet on Monday we'll see temperatures start to drop they'll start out at 32 to 36 at the summit but fall throughout the day 35 to 39 at the base winds noticeable on Monday as well hopefully we'll pick up another inch of snow as the storm moves on out of here in the afternoon on Tuesday, mainly cloudy skies, nice snowmaking temperatures, 25 at the base, 13 at the summit. Continuing with those excellent snowmaking temperatures on Wednesday and Thursday, highs at the base, 22 on Wednesday, 27 on Thursday with partly sunny skies, although we'll see a few clouds increasing on evening. For Sunday, expect to have packed powder and powder conditions once again. Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail conditions report. Bracket, burnt, front face, all open. We expect to have Super Quad and Skyline operating at 8.30. 9 o'clock for Timberline. Might have to have a second look with winds in the forecast. 8 o'clock, Snubber starts up, getting you up to the base area from the lower part of the mountain. Sawduster Skidway and both sides of Double Runner will be in operation for Sunday. Two Hall, Whiffle Tree, Slasher. On the east side, Bridal Chain, Gage, Tote, Comp, Candyside, Hayburner, Kings, and Sluice in the middle. The Landing, Birches, and Boardwalk down in the base area. And Scoot and Good Chance in the old Bucksaw area. That's what's on the groomers list tonight. They'll make all those trails back into Sweet Corduroy for your first thing in the morning. And in case you don't know, Carabasset is where it's at for two-wheel pedal power in the state of Maine. And we carry our theme into the wintertime with fat biking and Carabasset as well. The Rack has music on Saturday night. It's late night selfies. They'll kick off around 9 o'clock. Sunday evenings, check out Chase's Trivia. Always a ton of fun. And Carabasset Valley at Door Association invite you to go bowling on Sunday at 2 o'clock. Every single Sunday they're doing that at the Sugar Bowl. And the White Wolf Inn invites you to stop by there if you want a delicious rotisserie chicken dinner on Sundays. A great deal. Feed two for less than 17 bucks. You can't beat that. And there's an informational meeting happening on Monday night. Carabasset Valley people, get on out there to find out what's going on. All kinds of interesting things. So get involved. Stay in the know. And visit Sugarloaf's newest feature. The boardroom, right there on Main Street. Stop in and tell them WSKI sent you. If you're a snowboarder, you have to see what's new there. Our quad cam lets you know what's happening on the mountain 24-7. You can see exactly what the weather's doing and what it has been doing. You can also stay in touch with us through Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so you can know before you go because we are the insiders on the outside around here and we can give you the information that will improve your experience here in the main high peaks. Tune in Sunday morning. Perfect turn. Lloyd Cutler. Copeland Dinner House, all going to be here to let you know what's happening. It's going to be interesting, so make sure you tune in 730. We're also streaming at WSKITV.com.